Hello everybody, today is Thursday, November 16th. It's 3.23 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And on my left, we can see the time in sales, the E-mini S&P currently trading at 25.86 and a quarter at 3.23 p.m. Uh, this will be a fairly short video today. The first chart is the NASDAQ on the 987 tick uh, BWT Heiken Ashi chart and I made these open low high close bars so we could see the trades a little better we had a small loser and then a really great winner here and then a loser and a winner and this brought us to our goal of 2000 we had one tick of slippage as we enter our market order on the end so this was a pretty impressive performance if I make this candlesticks then the chart looks a little bit more like this also want to point out uh, the indicators here giving some excellent signals as you can see if you wanted to smooth this out and have these red bars be blue we would simply raise the sensitivity I have it pretty tight here at 0.6 so if I brought this up to 1 or 1.2 these all these red bars would probably be blue okay next up is the crude oil on a 377 BWT Heiken Ashi tick chart and a couple of nice trades here back to back. Uh, our sensitivity on this is much higher at uh, set at two and you can see that it's not as sensitive to the pullbacks and we have really smooth looking trend. The payoff for the trade off for higher sensitivity is your entry is going to be a little bit later but you will get a smoother chart. Anyway, this hit its goal of a thousand here, trading two contracts. The crude oil on the regular 377 tick chart had similar performance. Okay, the gold on the BWT Superinco 6 tick chart hit its goal of a thousand dollars here, and there was a tick of slippage at the end. Very nice looking trades, excellent entry and exit positions on all three winners no losers here okay next up is the e-mini S&P on a Super Inco 6 tick chart and this did 762.50 for the day we had a loser and a winner our goal on this is a thousand and uh, this is trading three contracts you can see on this excellent long trade filled on our limit order and then scaling out of the position and then exited at the reversal here first red bar okay next up is the Dow e-mini contract on a 500 tick BWT Heiken Ashi chart this did 525 for the day trading three contracts and you can see the trades here uh, two really nice winners and a small loser here Next up is our Super Inco 2 tick with the 4 tick higher time frame. Uh, this has been super consistent and excellent performance. Once again, hit its goal with no slippage. Now what's interesting about this is the exit here uh, exited because it hit its goal and this was uh, fairly close to the high of the day here. It was the high of the day at this point. So uh, just a solid trade. And notice the higher time frame uh, kept the auto trader from going short at the red bars here. So this chart has worked out really well. I've only been showing this for a month or so, but it's been right in there as far as performance goes. Okay, we've got a live position here on the E-mini S&P Super Inco 6 tick. We have a closed PL of $25 and an open PL of about 100 And you can see we went short here on these red bars. This is using our line break logic. So currently short. We'll see if this how this plays out. If the market sells off into the close, there's only about 30 minutes left of trading, then this uh, will turn out pretty good. Okay, last but not least is a crude oil chart on a 377 tick regular line break chart and this did 570 for the day um, 
if you're wondering why I use 377 ticks, 377 is a Fibonacci number, so I often use those as sizes. Okay, that's all for today's video. If you'd like to find out more, please visit our website or send us an email to systems at blueavetrading.com. Thanks for watching today.